In this series, Practice the Presence, we are introducing seven practices for an anxious age. The first practice I want to introduce you to is this, begin with God. Simply begin the day with God. C.S. Lewis once described the moment you wake up as the moment when all the thoughts of the day come rushing at you like wild animals, and that a person's first job is simply shoving them all back in order to give our attention first to God. Consider for a moment that Lewis wrote that 70 years ago, before the cell phone. How often are our first thoughts now in response to checking text messages or email, social media or news updates? Now, what would it look like to simply begin with God before all the thoughts of the day come rushing at you? Because what you give your attention to first thing in the morning has a way of setting the pace and the equilibrium of your day. In the Gospels, we are told Jesus had a regular practice of withdrawing from crowds in order to be still before God. In one example from one of the Gospels, we're told, and rising very early in the morning while it was dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. Think about it. Jesus, the perfect one, found it necessary to be alone with God at the beginning of the day. Now, my encouragement to you is to take up this practice. To that end, let me suggest four basic steps. Now, keep in mind that these are not hard and fast rules, but recommendations that could be applied differently depending on your season or stage of life. Number one, have a consistent time and place. It doesn't have to be long, but long enough to stop, to breathe, and allow God to establish your heart. If you can afford 15 minutes, great. If you can afford longer, even better. But guard that time. Also have a consistent place that has limited distractions where you can first simply give your attention to God. Number two, keep back the wild animals. Whatever you do, don't start your day with texts or news or emails, God forbid, social media. Whatever it takes, make it a habit of giving your first thoughts and attention to God. This is critical. Keep back those wild animals as long as you possibly can. Number three, spend time in God's word. A helpful starting point may be to read a psalm or work your way through one of the gospels in small parts. Whatever you do, remember, God is not first something to be studied. He is someone to be with. Study is important. I'm all for it. But make this a time just to be still and to know that he is God. And finally, number four, respond in prayerful meditation. Meditation in Eastern religion is often the emptying of one's mind. But in Christian tradition, meditation is the filling of one's mind on the things of God. Ask God if there is something specific that he'd like to show you from the Bible, and then allow what you've read to shape your prayer for the day. I have found it helpful to connect his words with my prayers by sort of praying them back to him, if you will. If you need more ideas of what this could look like, or if you have a difficult time focusing and meditating, I've included a few more suggestions in the description. But in a time where everything is literally clamoring for your attention, it's important to simply begin with God in the quiet of his presence and his peace. May the Lord bless you as you do.